Hi everyone, my name is Fatma and I review all things beauty that includes makeup, skincare, and sometimes hair care and nails. So if you're interested in any of those, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can be notified of every time that I post, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Today's video is going to be on the Stila Cosmetics One Step Correct Primer. It's a primer that's going to color correct your um, discoloration on, the, on your face. It has these three pigments in here, the peach, lavender, and green. And I'm going to show you in the video how I used the primer and how, um, how it held my makeup up, as well as um, some other things about these pigments and what they're supposed to cancel out. So keep watching. And if you want uh, a timestamp for the review part to start, I'm going to have it somewhere around over here. So you can jump to that if you're if you want to so my face is uh prepped with my skincare i've used my um pmd uh pmd clean um i've used my pacifica beauty cnc love vitamin c serum uh and then i've used uh, the kate somerville um goat milk moisturizer on top followed by a sunscreen the biore I have right over here the aqua rich water watery essence um and now i can go in with my primer so for this primer i'm going to actually do a half and half uh because it's not entirely um clear whether this is going to be a one and done thing or does it need to be uh, applied on top of a different primer or a different primer follows it uh like a regular primer I'm going to start off with my regular primer on this uh, side of my face and then top it off with the Stila One Correct. Um, and then over here, I'm going to use the Stila One Correct by itself. And then I'm going to follow it up with a BB cream or a CC cream um, because I don't want a full coverage foundation because a full coverage foundation is supposed to cover up your, um, you know, spots and stuff anyway. So I just want to see how good it is in terms of cancelling out the darkness, the spots, the sallowness and everything. So it, as you can see, it has this um, like a helix shape with these three pigments. So we have the peach, the green, and then the lavender. The peach is supposed to cancel out the dark circles, whereas the green is supposed to, uh, to cancel out the uh, red spots that you get from your pimples, your acne marks, and that's what I have going on a little bit, not a lot. And then lavender is supposed to cancel out the sallowness in your skin. So I do have some pretty dull looking skin around my mouth ma uh, mainly. Just because winter is not a really good time for me so i am going to, so i'm interested in how well this works out for me so again like i said i'm going to start off with this part of my face and i'm going to use my maybelline blur and pore minimize um uh, primer <laughs> i'm almost running out of this because this is such a good primer for all over my skin um a year round i don't have to change anything so i'm just going to Use my fingers to blend it out. This is a silicone based primer that is going to create kind of like a fake layer of skin um, and hide your pores, blur your pores by, by filling them in, making it look like there, just, there are no pores. And I find that, that it works um, really well for me, even if I have like dry skin going on around over here or somewhere, it's still gonna um, make my makeup look good. So now I'm going to go in with the Stila One Step Correct. And this comes in a pump, which I like. I love products that come in a pump. Um, and I'm gonna put it over here. So this is kind of like, <laughs> it kind of, I don't, I don't want to say it, but I, it kind of reminds me of those you know, toothpastes that you get with the you know, different stripes. And this is how it looks. There's um, green, purple, and peach all mixed in together. It looks kind of gross, to be honest, but it's, I mean, if it does the job, why not? So I'm going to um, do this over here. I'm just gonna apply it all over my face because the colors are meshed together anyway so it's not like you can um pinpoint where you should do it you know like if you have darkness on one part of your face and then redness on a different part of your face it's not like you can pinpoint like green on that part and 
red, um, you know, lavender on other parts or peach on other parts. It definitely doesn't feel like a silicone primer. It feels more like hydrating, which is not a bad thing, obviously. And um, it feels kind of nice on the skin. It doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't feel like it's um, sticky or anything. It just feels like a nice, like almost like a cooling moisturizer, but not exactly a cooling moisturizer. I mean, it just has this kind of effect and I like it actually like I like how it feels I'm not sure how I like um, it canceling out stuff so I'm gonna see that later on I'm gonna do another pump see and I'm gonna dot it around just like I would any primer and then I'm going to blend it out with my fingers I have to admit that if I'm using it um, on top of a different primer, like my regular primer from Maybelline, it does feel a bit more heavy, um, obviously because you have another layer and that was a silicone primer, so it is going to feel a bit more heavy. So it's not um, this product's fault is what I'm saying. So, But I just want to know if it works best on its own or in conjunction with your regular primer because it's a kind of like it's it's basically a color corrector so it's not like it's gonna fill your pores or it's gonna be really hydrating its main purpose is um basically to correct your discoloration so if this is mainly a color corrector which it, that is what it says it's not exactly a makeup primer um, designed for your particular need of like you know large pores or oiliness or dry skin so um i feel like it might be best to use another um primer in conjunction with this primer so anyway i have my primers on this feels much nicer to be honest in this part because i do have two layers of primers on um so i'm gonna go in with my makeup and then i'm gonna come back and give you a rundown of what i use just an update i just finished using uh, the perlis radiant glow illuminating bb cream and um on both sides of my face and i still see a lot of um you know dark spots and like like how it would have been without this color correcting primer so and over here i have a concealer the elf camera concealer over here and i don't have any concealer over here and i did use this bb cream uh on my under eyes as well so my point is that it still looks pretty dark it still looks like how my skin does how my complexion makeup does look uh without a color correcting primer so i Right now, I'm not seeing much of an improvement or a difference or um, like it's working or something. I, I don't feel that right now. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to give you uh, what my thoughts are. So now I've completed my entire makeup. So let me just give you a rundown of what I'm wearing. I've already shown you what I use like uh, the BB cream and the concealer. So um, my brows are the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP um, Styler in the shade Light Brown. Um, the highlighter plus blush thing that I'm wearing um, all on my uh, high points of my face as well. It's the Milk Makeup Glow Oil Lip and Cheek in the shade Flare. My eyeliner is the Lottie London AM to PM eyeliner in the shade Espresso, which is a brown. And um, my lipstick is uh, the MAC Cosmetics Nude Du Jour shade. And uh, I used the contour, the bronzer from this palette from Pure Cosmetics. This is the 4 in 1 Skin Perfecting Powders. Um, this is the shade. Um, and the shade fair light and i have the bronzer shade as my contour because it's a cool toned bronzer um so that is all that's on my face i did not use a setting powder or anything because i just wanted to see how this primer works on its own as a makeup um makeup primer um i do still see some of the dark spots like the my acne marks and stuff like that so i wouldn't say um like my first impression of this product right now is not like um like it's a it's a full-on hit of a product but 
I'm still um, gonna test it out, see how it looks, whether it's any better than how I uh, use my makeup on a regular basis. So I'm gonna do a wear test of at least six hours and then I'm gonna get back to you on my thoughts. I'm gonna divide my thoughts into likes, dislikes, and then my rating breakdown. So stay tuned for that. So it's not the same day that I've used that primer and that makeup. I've uh, This is a different day because um, when I was done with my wear test, I was kind of disappointed and i was just like maybe that's just a first impression maybe i need to use it a couple more times before i um, make my opinion about it so i did use it a few more times after that application that you saw earlier and i still i don't i don't feel differently than i did um that day so here's why I'm, I'm going to tell you what happened and why and all that. So I'm going to have a picture over here. I actually I'm going to have two pictures uh, over here um, to show you that um, to show you how my makeup lasted the entire day. I think I did um, a wear test of around 10 hours and um that that's how my skin looked at the end of my day when i was about to take my makeup off it my skin obviously does not look good it looks very flaky it looks very dry it looks very um um it looks very um grayish looking it, it my makeup came off in several places not just the places where i was dry but even when where the places where i wasn't um dry or flaky my makeup still came off and i wasn't just after that 10 hours because it was 10 hours that's why it started coming off it started coming off at the maybe two hour mark so i finished my makeup uh that day around like noon and then i um and then around 2 30 p.m it started feeling so crinkly so like like my skin is it can't it can't stretch or anything it felt so so super drying um on both sides whether <clears throat> both sides like with the other primer as well as on its own it was super drying and um i did not see any color correctness in any of any part of my skin whether the uh, the the dull looking parts the redness the the under eye dark circles i did not see a difference so um i was disappointed using this product overall it's a disappoint disappointing product um and i'm gonna list out what i liked about this and what i disliked about this and then i'm gonna have my rating breakdown so first off what i like about the stila one step correct primer is the fact that it, it it does look gorgeous in the bottle the helix the three colors the three pigments it's a nice concept it's a good concept it's not a new concept again because color correction has been there for like a very long time but i like the concept of having a primer that color corrects um like three in one but it's kind of impractical and i'm going to tell you why in a in in the dislikes i like that it comes in a pump so the product is easier to dispense um i like that they have their um, instructions of what cancels out what so that they have their like green cancels out redness and stuff like that right at the back so you don't get confused every other time that you're using this product um i like that it is it felt very cooling not very cooling but it, it felt like nice and soothing to the skin when i was applying it um on my bare skin like without a primer uh without on, not on top of a primer and it felt very nice and kind of almost like cooling but i don't know if it, it was the product itself or because it was sitting in a cool place um but yeah it, it was pretty cooling it was pretty nice it was soothing to the skin it felt like it's good it would be a good product to have um uh, and then um it also, also felt hydrating at that point when off application when i was applying it it felt quite hydrating and i liked that feeling I also liked that it was so lightweight it felt like i was just applying a light lightweight moisturizer it, it didn't feel like i was applying a primer a color corrector or a three and for that matter so it was uh it was a quite a pleasant experience when i was applying it up till at that point but my list of likes ends right over here because 
I do not like this product for so many reasons and I'm gonna list out why. First of all, the even though the concept is in interesting that you have three pigments in one go, it is kind of impractical because so green cancels out red. It cancels out real redness. But this but then this, you have this peach color which is almost it's like a light red color, like it's a dull red color. So when you're applying them together, this is canceling, the green is canceling out the peach in here. So you're not getting your benefits that you think you are. It's, it's kind of tricky. It's like, it's, it has to do with color theory. So it's, it's not really working as a product in itself. It's not really working well together. Plus when you're using a pump, which I'm going to show you right now, like this, you see that you have all these colors mixed together you have all these three pigments are mixed together you cannot like pinpoint okay uh, you know like if you have like just green pigment you can just pinpoint do your like you do your spot color correction you have to use it all over your face and you have to mix them all together because obviously you cannot just like pick out the greens from here and then apply it onto your red spots or or do the same thing with other pigments so it's not really an effective way of color correction. If you want a color corrector, you just, I mean, if you want a color corrector like a green and a peach and all that, get them separately so you can do spot correction. I personally like to use a concealer that has a similar undertone. So if I want to cancel out my darkness, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to use a concealer that has a peachy undertone, a yellowish undertone um you know an undertone like that because then i wouldn't have to buy different products um and try to keep up with them because you don't always need color correction it's just sometimes you know what i mean so if you have like a concealer that is gonna be fit for your dark circles which i do i do that's what i do for my color correction for my dark circles it's gonna work around every other darkness that you have on your face so you know, just consider doing that instead, instead of just buying these expensive color correctors separately or in, a, you know, packaging like this. Because this is very ineffective and you can see that even though, even though this swirl looks very beautiful, it's like a nice mesh of three colors together, it is ineffective because it is not performing the way it is supposed to. It's a one step correct, but it's not correcting anything at all. It's not correcting my dark circles. It's not correcting my dull skin. It's not correcting my uh, red spots. So what is the point of this? And it's not even holding up my makeup as well either um as my usual primers do and that bb cream that i used it was it's i've used that so many times uh under uh on top of different primers and it has held up so beautifully at every with every primer except for this one it's made so it's definitely the primer's fault it's not um uh, my bb cream's fault or my concealer because i've used those a ton of times and those are them something those are products that i reach for on the on the daily so you know it's not their fault it's still a, a one step corrects fault <laughs> Also, this is quite expensive for a primer. I mean, it is it's it is like a how um a prestige brand would have their pricing for a primer, but it is still very expensive for a product that doesn't really work or doesn't really hold up your makeup as it's supposed to. It is a makeup primer and a color corrector in one. So, I don't see the point of this product i don't know if it works for anybody or not i i'm not sure um i haven't really you know, seen any other reviews about it because i didn't want to be biased beforehand and um i'm sure you're gonna, gonna see more reviews and see if i did something wrong or not i mean maybe i didn't apply it right but i don't think there is many ways for you to apply it it doesn't give uh, specific instructions on how to apply it it's just said uh, it just says pump a small amount and apply to clean skin with your fingertips or brush number 33 and follow with your uh, Stila foundation. So there's not much science into using this. So I'm pretty sure I did not use it incorrectly. It, all in all, it's just not a good product in my opinion. Um, and basically that is it. You can find this at Ulta for $36 and it comes in one ounce of product. So that's 
quite expensive um, for a product that doesn't work. So I don't think that this price is reflected in the performance of this product or the claims that it has. So I'm not impressed at all. I'm kind of very disappointed because I did have high hopes for this product. Like, you know, it, it looked amazing. It, I, I mean, it was supposed to do stuff, but it didn't do anything. So I would not recommend this to anybody, especially someone who has a lot of uh, pigmentation on their face and they're looking for a good color corrector or a good alternative to use to um, a corrector uh, pigmentation I'm severely disappointed because it's not doing anything it 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 made my makeup look as it did with any other primer it was like i wasn't even wearing a color corrector so it didn't make any difference at all so now we can go ahead with my rating breakdown and first off is performance i'm gonna give it um half a point because it was a very underperforming product. I was not impressed at all with this. Um, and then there is pricing, which I think is just unreasonable for a product that is not even delivering on the claims that it has, especially if it's named one step correct. It is supposed to correct. It should not be um, a corrector that needs other products for it to do its job properly. It should be a good corrector on its own, um, especially at that price point. So I would give it a 0.25 out of a, out of a 1 because I just don't think the product is worth it. For longevity and convenience, I'm going to give it a half a point because I do like the, um, the pump in there, but I don't think that it is a long wearing product, which extends the life of your makeup uh, on your face, obviously not on your face, um, or if that it works as well, you know? So I would give it a half a point just because it comes in a pump and I like my products that come in a pump. Um, and then there's recommendation and repurchase that is a zero because I do not recommend this to anybody um, and I would not repurchase this at all. Um, I would not even use it as just a plain makeup primer either because it's not a good makeup primer. You know, it's not a good makeup primer. It's not a good color corrector either. So it's, it's nothing basically. <laughs> it's just at best, it's just like a nice um, soothing moisturizer for like maybe two hours and then after that it's just gonna ruin everything that you have on top of it and then there is special features which i'm gonna give like maybe half a point because i do like the concept behind it i just don't like that it didn't execute as it, it was supposed to so my total Felicia score comes down to 1.75 out of a five and um that's Again, so disappointing because I had high hopes for this product um, because I do have a lot, uh, not a lot of, but I do have some pigmentation on my face that I wanted to correct and conceal, but it seems like a concealer is still um, the best option out there. I just don't like this product at all. Um, so anyway, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to be talking about the IT Cosmetics Pillow Lips Solid Serum um, or stick around and watch one of my older videos.